This is my painting of a castle on a creek. I love this photo of a creek up in Canada. It was taken by my dad and his friend while traveling in the region. I also have these photos of Castle Nouveau in Naples, Italy that I took while on summer vacation in 2008. These towers are just super cool. Taking this nice picture of a creek, I wanted to add a castle to it. My first draft really didn't look good at all. I just tried to drop Castle Nouveau into the picture. Instead, I modeled the tower in SketchUp and just tried adding the towers to the picture. This looked much better, but I wanted the waterfall to be taller. To do this, I just stretched the image vertically. So my third concept is what I'm going with. I didn't like the foreground tree, so I replaced it with another one that I found and photographed on Penn State's campus. Let's start the painting. I'm using Crescent Illustration Board and an Iwata CMSB airbrush and a variety of tools. First, I laid down some shadows to define where different objects will go. The towers on the left are masked off with paper copies glued to the illustration board. I moved quickly to build in some of the background trees in deep green. I've also added some of the browns to the rocks and water. Eventually, I add some of the lighter green to the trees on the right. I darken up the rocks and refine their shapes. Continuing to add details to the trees and the water. Filling in some of the blues and violets begins to make the water pop out. Continuing to add details to the trees and the water. And then filling in the white details with yellow. Finally, refining the rocks and the cliff with details and color. The background tower will be just gray and not detailed since it's in the background. The foreground tower will be much more detailed. We start the foreground tower with some lighter beige colors. Then add in some of the moss on the stones since this is near a lot of water. We steadily add additional detail to the bricks, varying their colors, adding shadowing, etc. Then we start adding the foreground tree by dropping in the darker greens first. Then I will slowly build the details for the trees by adding the mid-greens and finally the lighter green highlights. Lastly, I'm going to add some foreground brush to help push that tower back into the painting. That's it. That's how I made my Castle Creek painting. I hope you enjoyed this painting and look forward to making the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please press like and subscribe. This greatly helps me to continue making new videos. Thank you for watching today, and we'll see you in the next video.